good day traders i wanted to make a short video <clears throat> for mainly new people or you know new pe to people who are new to my group um to kind of explain briefly how i trade all right doesn't matter what time frame um this is exactly how i trade and i you can trade this on every time frame it starts with an order block in this case, we're on a three week time frame. This could be on the four hour. This can be on the 15 minute. Uh, however, low or high you would like to go. This order block represents price was down here at one point. Then you get this impulse move that breaks this high. All right. It breaks a few highs, but you just want to make sure that the impulse move breaks a high. Right. At that point, we have a trading scenario. What I expect once the impulse move breaks the high, I expect a pullback into an imbalance that was created with this impulse move. There's a strategy out there called ICI, impulse correction of an impulse, or ICC, impulse correction continuation. It's all pretty much the same thing. And this strategy that I trade is based off the ICT power of three, okay? So let's break this down. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Fibonacci on the direction of the move. I'm just going to fill this last candle. I expected the pullback to the discounted zone, which starts at the 50%. So somewhere in between the 50 and the 78, I expect for price to pull back to. I'm going to mark up my 50% zone here. I'm going to mark a 78 with this black line. I want to make sure I cover the candle when I mark these areas. Okay, now I'm going to delete my Fibonacci. Delete this old marking. And now I'm going to drop to the four hour time frame. I like to pick my areas of interest off this four hour time frame. When I go down to the four hour time frame, I want to look for unmitigated order blocks here's an unmitigated four hour order block in my zone or i'm looking for imbalances there's also an imbalance right above here where these the wick from here to here does not touch that represents an imbalance so these are my two targets inside my zone below my zone there's an unmitigated order block here price has not tapped into that order block another great target uh this imbalance that was left from here to here has been mitigated. So if, if I put my cursor at this wick, you can see price came down basically and touched the dotted line, right? And then we got out of here. So if I drop, if I continue to drop down time frames, um, we can get a zoomed in view, and there still may be a little bit more imbalance, excuse me, in these areas. So you can see an untapped order block here. This order block was tapped in right here. So this is probably a great target and you don't have to mark these up if you don't want to. I'm just doing it because I'm talking to you now. Um, I do expect price to come to one of these zones, okay? So now we have a trading scenario. I can take a trade from here down to these areas, okay? Remember, we started on the three week chart and now we're looking at a scenario where the price can push down to these areas. And if you look, if if I was taking a trade just to this zone, that's 366 pips. This is 482 pips. It's a beautiful trade setup. Now, how do I decide on when to enter the trade? I use these moving averages, right? I use a nine, a, a eight and a 12. You can use a 9 and a 13 if you want. Uh, 8 and 12, 9 and 13, they both work pretty well, okay? You want to uh, look at how price rides the trend as it pushes up. Once price comes down and crosses over the, the uh, moving average and closes here, you see this is a bearish order block. Price crossed over and closed. 
I can expect for price to start pushing down. Now, the same way that I fibbed that three week order block, I can do the same thing to this four hour order block. I will mark up my zone. You can see prices are already in the golden zone. I can mark up my 78. Get rid of my fib. On this case, I can drop down to the hour or the 15 minute. I'm choosing to drop down to the 15 minute. And if you notice, you see the imbalance from here to here. This is exactly where price is going. So anywhere in this imbalance, price can turn around. So some people place their trade at 50% of this imbalance, right? So their trade idea, they will put a short position at the 50% mark of this imbalance. You can measure using the GAN box or whatever. I will put my stop loss above this candle, or you can put your stop loss above this high. It doesn't matter. Uh, either is fine. If you get knocked out, there's a trade. You can just get back in it using a bigger stop loss. But now you have a perfect trade set up. I want you to pay attention to the risk reward ratio because it gets ridiculous. Um, as you go up, you just want to make sure you extend your trade. This is a perfect trade idea. A, uh, a great setup for the upcoming week that me and the crew will be taking. So I want to take this trade set up at least to this order block, probably further. That's 356 pips. I'm getting a one to 20. This is exactly how I do it. Um, be happy to show you. Hopefully you understood what I just broke down. You might have to watch the video a couple of times. Uh, there are individual videos that you can watch that cover imbalances, individual videos that cover order blocks, but this is all you need to be a successful trader. If you pick your trades judiciously, you, you cut your losses, you take less trades, you get more winners. And if you're winning it at a 20% clip, you'll be excited, just like I'm excited. All right, see you guys out in the trading streets. Thank you for uh, checking out the video.